With this power, I can eliminate any enemy if I want to. Tell my fit. Look, let me ask you something. Does your chance of chastity sure have some sort of purity over you of an angel? What? Ferrer said. What do you mean, angel? Look, don't think I'm crazy, but last night, while you were asleep, you somehow look radiant in the light. I don't know what you mean, Ferrer said. She felt a little weird when he said that. Toma sighed. Well, your hair was glowing, and so is the rest of your skin. For a second, I thought maybe you were some sort of angel. An angel? <laughs> oh, yeah. But you don't believe in angels now, do you? Ferrer said. It's kind of hard to say. If you were an angel, would you grant me any wish? <laughs> I don't think angels grant wishes. I think fairies do, and so do genies, but I doubt you wouldn't even believe in the tooth fairy and flying pigs. Burr remarked, yeah. Do you feel okay? I feel fine. Are you sure I don't want to come with you? I, mean, I actually met your friends, and they're really nice. Some of them are pretty weird, but whatever. Yeah, they are. I'm glad you like them, Toma said. No problem. And Toma? Ferrer said. Yeah? Toma asked. Thanks, Ferrer said. Toma nodded, and then he left. Looking at the sunset outside, Ferrer didn't know what was going to happen, but in her mind, she knew what was. Meanwhile, Toma was out with his friends in the night of the city. They were doing what they always do. However, this night was about to get strange and also dangerous. While Toma and his friends were walking, all of a sudden, the in one of the infestations came and grabbed Tomo. Tomo tried to break free from the creature, but he couldn't, and the creature held on to him with a firm grasp. His friends were frightened by this, and they didn't know what to do. They were just frozen with fear by that creature. Barrera was lying in her bed. But then she heard Silver's voice in her communication earpiece saying, Move in! At once, Barrera sat up and she ran to go rescue Toma. Hang on, Toma. I'm coming, Barrera thought. Toma began thrashing and trying to kick the creature. Hey, what are you doing? Get off me! He cried out. The infestation just hissed and scattered even more. Where the hell are you taking me? Answer me! The creature glared, and he was about to pierce his teeth into Toma's skin when all of a sudden, Barrer came to the rescue. Toma! Barrer cried out. Free! Hang on! I'm coming! Barrera called out. She ran over and she rescued Toma from the infestation. Are you okay? Barrera said. Yeah, I'm fine. What is that thing? Toma said. I, um, well... Barrera started to say, but the creature lunged in, and Toma, using his right hand, touched the creature's head. The creature began to swerve, and then he began to screech. Toma didn't know what was happening, but all of a sudden, the infestation exploded. Barrer gasped, Toma! But Toma was fine, covered in the gunk and the blood of the creature. Ugh, oh, 
gross, he said. What's going on? Toma said. Toma! Burr said, rushing over to her friend, catching him before he fell. It's just blood. What's going on? Toma said. Toma! Can you hear me? Toma, come on. Stay with me. Please, just stay with me, okay? Bree. Bree. Toma said. Burr began to cry. But then she thought to herself, no, never again. Then she said, there's one thing I gotta do. It's the only thing I have to do to save you. She pulled out a knife. Toma couldn't see. Then when he saw the knife, he began to flip out. But Barrera covered his mouth and said, Shh, it's okay. I'm gonna help you. You're not gonna die. She took the blade towards Toma's arm. Toma was so frightened that he fainted. Okay, see you all next time. I'm Captain Donovan, and I'll see you later.